So this is one half way between the chin and the top of the skull, not the top of the hair. And that's the chin. I'm going to put a neck in here and um, some stand-in shoulders. I'm also, I'm looking at this head, it's an, sort of an ideal head, straight on, so right down the middle. Then um, five eyes across, five eyes across. Um, not such a good speller, I don't know if I got that right. So a uh, kind of, so about five, maybe that's one, two, three, four, five, five-ish. The five includes the ears, so the, our ears are somewhere like that. And then the jaw in from there, and I'm just going to put a jaw in. And, um, and maybe I'll put... When I say five eyes across, I mean um, kind of a whole shebang. So the actual, the actual little iris might be uh, pretty small and lid. Uh, I don't want to get too carried away yet. I just want you to know like there's eye shapes in here. Um, and then there's a sort of point. So this is the top of the head. I'm going to imagine the hair is a little higher up um, and the brow the hairline is a little bit lower than that. So I'm going to put in this little bit of hairline and a little bit of the top of the hair. And there's a, an imaginary point between the hairline and top of the skull. And I want to divide into thirds from there to the chin. One, two, three. So about here, one third. Then about there, two thirds, and then up to our imaginary line above the hairline. There, so there's a third, one third, two thirds, or three thirds, anyway. Um, and this is where we're gonna stick our nose, the bottom of our nose, and our eyebrows. So we've got our eyes about, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna erase them out because I don't want them to be too, too specific but just that our eyes are gonna fill up the space in there. And um, eyebrows, we've got a hairline, putting the nose in there. And then about halfway between the nose and the chin, I'm going to put a line where the lips meet. Um, and I'll just put a little line for the shadow, because there's probably a little bit of a shadow under there. You can already see my features look a little too large. Uh, features tend to get that way. Um, okay. But, so I could make everything else a bit larger to compensate for the features. What I'm going to do actually is I'm going to make the neck a little wider. I'm going to make the neck closer to the outside. And um, the shoulders closer there. And maybe I'll shrink it in a little bit. It's looking rather, rather burly, this person. And I'll give it some hair, uh, it. I'll give the, the portrait some hair. I'm going to, I'll give it some hair like that. And uh, so, and then I can't resist, well, I said I wasn't, anyway. The whole eye socket, socket is going to be a little bit in shadow because, oh, my son took the model skull upstairs, so I don't have it, but because the the eye sockets are kind of deep, so those are going to be a little bit more in shadow. Um, and I'm going to imagine a light source from the right. Ding, 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 ding. And maybe the whole, everything over here is going to be a little bit more in shadow. And the shadowy side of the nose, uh, shadow side of the face. I guess I could I could turn that line up just a little bit so she looks less severe. And you might notice that eyebrows tend to be a little wider there and then down here. And I'm going to, I am going for that little bit of um, iris. I just can't resist giving it, making it a little more human neck. Um, the 
clavicular notch is about a third of the way down, and that's a good landmark for um, to help with the shoulders. 